Hello. I'm trying out a new angle. Hopefully this isn't horrible. And I have a really special beer. Brewery only Jack's Abbey Mansfield. Uh, so it's a Czech style lager that's been fermented in an open wooden fermentation vessel, a big barrel. And I don't believe they cover the, the barrel in pitch like Notch does, so you don't really get oak character. But it only spends like a few days, I believe, or like five days or something in the barrel, and then they move it to a, <clears throat> a more traditional steel tank. So they just kind of get it going. It's, there's no wild yeast fermentation or anything, it's just lo their lager yeast, but um, be really interesting to see what it's like. Uh, something to get some open fermentation. When beers are open fermented, they always ferment more vigorously. They got no pressure and they got plenty of oxygen to use for the fermentation. Um, and then also there's might be a slight amount of oak character to this. It's four and a half percent alcohol, uses just um, <clears throat> just Czech, or Bo he has a Bohemian, which is Czech. Pills are malt, floor malted, and Zotz hops. Um, yep. It's also pretty traditional, maybe somewhat historical tasting, perhaps. Um, even though in the old days they didn't really purposely age the, these beers in, in vessels like that only to lager them, but not to really get the barrel character like people do now. It's a different sort of thing. But back before they had stainless steel and, and steel kegs to transport beer, all, almost all beers would have some kind of oak character. <clears throat> so that's a little hazy. Bottom of my glass, of course, not super duper clean. Um, the head looks pretty good. The carbonation, it was canned, ooh, like nine days ago, very fresh. Um, but they've never, I guess, I think they did that with this with their fire of hand, fire in the hand, maybe one other beer before. Um, it smells amazing. It smells kind of like their post shift. I think their, their post shift is a little bit more of a German pills, I think. That smells great. This reminds me of some really good notch pilsners. It is that strength. Most notches pilsners are between four and four and a half. This is four and a half. Yeah, really nice, fresh, clean lager yeast. Not, not, so not much going on. A little minerally, just helping to bring out a slight vanilla malt. Not like super sweet, deep vanilla or anything. A really floral, fresh, not very grassy, but you know, like fresh and, you know, fresh cut sort of greens in a way from the hops. But um, it smells great, and the head is is still sticking around. Ooh, yeah, a deep malt character. Maybe it's brought out more by the oak, bringing a little bit of vanilla. Mmm. The, yeah, the malt. Huh? I guess the, the malt isn't the special thing in here. It's the fermentation. With the fermentation in certain ways can bring out deep bulk character and this is just so toasty and but not you know it's still really pale it's still pilsner malt i'm sure they decocked this pretty full feel for four and a half percent just a lot of character just all the pilsner character i really love and so this is not like hill farmstead's poetica where they age that for like or lager it for months in wooden vessels <clears throat> and not Honestly, not a huge fan of those ones because they lose their fresh, hoppy character that I like. This has that, but then it has a little bit more of a complex, just fermentation malt flavor to it. Maybe it's a little bit spicier. Maybe it's got a little bit of tannins drying it out, giving it a little bit more structure, as people say. And tannin just means that. To me, it seems to mean like a drying experience, oil, not oily, but like tea leaves, you know. It doesn't really give it a lot more body, but it gives a, a certain kind of feel to the body, I guess. Mm. Extremely drinkable, but lots of character. And not just big malt, big bitterness, like your, your average Pilsner, because 
Bill's Markel got a lot of bitterness, hop character, lots of malt that's dark. It's really kind of sweet and malty a little bit. This is not that. Done really well. I almost wish I had bought two four packs. Mm. This is like a four and a half plus beer for me. If I didn't have a slightly dirty glass, probably would get a better uh, better head out of that. Um, highly recommend this. It just came out of the brewery last week. There are only two check-ins on Untapped, so it might be available for a while. Especially because their brewery is, is retail only, so people aren't going there as much to you know drink stuff on tap or get get food. You can do takeout, but they have a lot of a lot of special brewery only stuff right now. <sighs> Pardon me. Yeah, really, really cool finish. But yeah, it's definitely tannic. But it's just a quality that I don't get in with a fresh pilsner at the same time so very often or have ever before. Um, very good.